Rigging Station, presented by Diamond Fishing Products, makers of the finest monofilament and braided fishing line in the world. Hi, and welcome to this episode's Rigging Station. If you're just catching up, we're over here in Charlotte Harbor fishing Boca Grande for Goliath Grouper, having an absolute ball. These things are insane. It's just a crazy fishery. But I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about our tackle and make sure that if you want to come out here and try this, that you're rigged right, or else you're going to be wasting your time. We started off with an Alu Technos 50 wide loaded with 600 pound test monofilament sock down drag, as tight as you can get that drag. Absolutely no leeway at all, just sock down. Reels match to a Chaos Rodzilla rod, roller guides rated for 80 to 130 pound line. This is just about the heaviest rod that Chaos will build. Again, you really need some beefy, beefy equipment, not only because you have an opportunity of hooking fish that might be four or 500 pounds, but also because it's really just down and dirty fish and you're pulling these fish out of really just intense rubble and intense debris up along those pilings and you need something that can withstand that. Our rig itself, we've got our 600 pound running line crimped to a really heavy duty ball bearing swivel. From there, we've got a thousand pound leader, about four or five feet, thousand pound. Again, this is rubbing up on those pilings and you can see from all of the fish that we've caught here today, the leader's just all chafed up already, but still works, that's for sure. Make sure that your connections are crimped. I mean, you've got to have solid connections. Again, there's absolutely no leeway here. From there, the working end of the rig, we've got a 16 ounce egg sinker. That's what's going to take your bait right to the bottom. That's crimped in place to a 20-0 circle hook. Sounds like a super big hook. It is a super big hook. But again, these fish are huge and you need a large hook that'll hook that fish right in the corner of the mouth so you can also release them as quickly as possible. And that's another benefit to this tackle. These fish are protected and a lot of them are spawning. You don't want to exhaust these big goliaths. You want to hook them, you want to battle them, get them to the surface as quickly as possible. Take a couple pictures while that fish is in the water and get him back on his way as quickly as possible.